Dr. John O'Connor and his wife Charlene, a registered nurse, are out for a walk in their neighborhood. As they stop to admire the fairy doors that protect the animals in the forest, I wonder, a doctor married to a nurse, is that a match made in heaven? Soulmates. We spend about 99% of our time together. Dr. O'Connor grew up and went to medical school in Ireland. He did his internship in a remote area in Northern Ireland. I'm passionate about rural health care. In 1984, he came to Canada, first practicing in rural Nova Scotia, and 10 years later, taking over a practice in Fort McMurray that included providing care to three indigenous communities. Charlene often worked alongside him. It took about a year to earn the trust of the elders, but it marked the beginning of the most gratifying part of his career. It was incredibly rewarding. You felt you were making a difference in people's lives. Soon those indigenous communities felt so comfortable with Dr. O'Connor that they played jokes on him. I was told by a patient in John Vier, he says, you know, they've given you um, your Indian name, and it's Denny Yecho. And it means little big man. I had no reason to disbelieve. I, I felt quite chuffed at that. And anyway, I did some research afterwards and he was tongue in cheek and I didn't realize it. And it meant something completely different. Small, bald guy. <laughs> in 2001, Dr. O'Connor added Fort Chippewan to the indigenous communities he practiced in. Not long after arriving, he became alarmed by the high rates of unusual cancers he was seeing. To the number of patients that were coming in presenting with symptoms and I would refer them for tests and get the results back and, you know, the cancers and autoimmune diseases. Fort Chippewan is located next to Lake Athabasca, near the mouth of the Athabasca River. Elders were worried that the upstream oil sands industry was having a negative impact on their health. They trusted Dr. O'Connor to be an advocate for their concerns. The cancer is called cholangiocarcinoma. Dr. O'Connor appeared in a documentary titled Downstream that explored what effect the oil sands were having on the environment in Fort Chippewan. The end result was that this sort of highlighted, intensified the spotlight on a part of Alberta and, and indeed connecting with other things across North America and beyond uh, the plight of indigenous communities. Uh, when it comes to uh, resource management. In appreciation for all that he had done for their community, the residents of Fort Chippewan gave him this quilt. Seeing it still brings a tear of joy to his eye. Today he practices as a hospitalist at the Fort McMurray Hospital, gives care at a homeless drop-in centre, and provides primary care to the Indigenous community of Fort Mackay. He hopes to find more time in the future to play guitar, enjoy his eight and soon to be nine grandchildren, and be an advocate for rural health to up and coming physicians. People need to realize that working in a rural area is not scary if you truly want to experience and are open to the experience of, of rural medicine. It is incredibly rewarding. <laughs>